another application problem for pump uh, this is from the uh, textbook Anthony Esposito 7th edition uh, fluid power with application uh, we are solving problem number 559 now this problem is related to the one we have solved before which is 557 now uh, this one particularly is asking for calculating the cost yearly cost and redesign the system so i think this is very interesting uh, problem now here a couple of pieces of additional information it says the system run 20 hours per day and then um, for 250 days per year so total hours per year is 20 hours per day times 250 days run every year so that is total 500 sorry 5000 hours per year and then it says that it is 70 percent time this cylinder is not doing anything it just stalled at fully extended position so if this is uh, something wrong with my tablet so if this is the fully extended position it's not working mostly 70 percent of the time so it does the work and sit there fully extended don't do anything so 70 percent time not working or not producing the pump flow to work and only work is 30 percent time only works excuse me and then it when it's not working the cylinder because of the high pressure um, it says it leaks about one gallon per minute also there is a pressure relief valve um, so it's if it's not working it basically dumps all the fluid um, so maybe a pressure relief valve uh, somewhere here and it dumps all the fluid to the reservoir but still this pump is producing 1000 psi because the pressure relief valve is set at 1000 psi and the flow it was calculated before 39.2 gallon per minute so it producing that mass flow 39.2 gallon per minute at 1000 psi and dumping all the liquid to the reservoir so it's still it is producing this mass power which is quite a lot so that was calculated so the power produced by the farm was calculated the input power here we have calculated p equal to i think it was 25.2 um, you should check the videos on solving that uh, 557 problem before you do this one so this was the horsepower cal input horsepower calculated for the pump in the previous problem so then we can calculate the and it says it is connected to an electric motor which is 85 percent efficient so the pump just doesn't run by itself something has to run it so imagine that you have electric motor just right here connected to this pump and it is about 85 percent efficient so the motor input would be then um, 25.2 horsepower divided by 0.85 just accounting for that efficiency um, which I have calculated 29.65 horsepower now electric power is not actually measured in horsepower it measured in kilowatt and then the electricity cost is calculated based on kilowatt hour so every hour how many kilowatt is consumed so let's convert this to kilowatt hour we know that one horsepower is 0.746 kilowatt so the kilowatt wise the the motor uh, will take i have calculated 22.1 kilowatt so that will be taken by the motor so whether it's working or not this is the amount of um, power 
will be taken by the motor. So if we calculate the total cost, total cost for this system would be 70% time is not doing any work. So just stall, cylinder is stalled, doesn't do any work plus the 30% uh, time when it's working. So now the total power, so we can calculate that. Um, so when it's, when it's stalled, it's actually producing more PSI. So this, this power was produced at, check that other video, I think it was 800, 900, uh, 8 psi so when the system was running it produced 908 psi however when it's stalled when it's not working it system developed pressure up to that uh, pressure relief valve pressure setting uh, pressure relief valve setting which is it says 1000 psi so it's actually producing more power it's taking more power when it's not working so then we can calculate that uh, power. Um, so thousand times. Um, so that's power would be when it's not working. It is thousand times thirty nine point two divided by seventeen fourteen. So I calculated that. So that will come in in horsepower. And then you convert that to kilowatt 746 divided by one horsepower. So I calculated that 24.36 kilowatt. So when it's not working, it's actually wasting more power by this design. So 0.7 times um, when it's not working, 70% time is not working, 36 kilowatt. And then uh, plus when it's working, it takes 22.1 kilowatt. So this is the total power uh, taken by the system. And then uh, it works 500, five, sorry, 5,000 hour per year. And then the cost of electricity is 10 cents um, per kilowatt hour so you can see this kilowatt kilowatt will cancel this hour hour cancel only thing left is dollar per year so the dollar per year I calculated one one eight two zero zero dollar per year I think it's just one on eight two zero Let's solve the next question. So that's the total amount um, needed to run this pump by this divine design, $11,820 uh, per year. Now in question B, it says that you design this pump with a variable displacement pump. So instead of a fixed displacement pump, which is which the displacement is fixed, meaning that it will always produce that 39.2 gallon per uh, minute. When you use a variable displacement pump, on the other hand, so you can change that flow. So when you change the flow, you can actually change the power taken by the system because power is P cube, pressure times flow divided by um, whatever that constant is. So to change, if you can change this flow to a minimal amount, in this case, um, we only need one gallon per minute because that's the uh, cylinder leak at high pressure when it's not, when fully extended, it's not working, so about one gallon per minute leaks. So uh, we can tweak this pump in a way so it only produce one gallon per minute at 1000 PSI. So in that case, in fact, let me give you this example. There, in a lot of situation, actually two pumps are used. 
So one of them is called high flow pump and then another one is a high pressure uh, pump. So what this two does is basically this is high pressure pump. This doesn't produce enough flow, this high pressure one. It only maintains that 1000 PSI. Um, so that is always in that operating condition. And then it goes to the reservoir again. So this one produces most of the flow. Most typical situation, you can use a, another pump just to maintain the high pressure. So this pump only has to produce one gallon per minute. The one that this cylinder leaks at fully extended, um, when it's fully extended, uh, so at 1000 PSI. And then at that time, this pump doesn't work. This problem, on the other hand, on this textbook, it says that instead of two pumps, just use one pump, uh, just change the um, displacement of the pump. So the uh, flow rate is changing. And then it doesn't use that much power. So if you calculate the amount of power um, that needed just to produce one gallon per minute, that's going to be one gallon per minute divided by times the pressure 1000 psi divided by 1714 so that is i have calculated 58 so this was calculated 58.5834 horsepower now this is output here so remember you have these pumps and also motors so the situation is like this you have the motor that is driving the pump and then this pump is connected here and then this power is the output power which is right here um, horsepower so you have to account for the pump efficiency account for the motor efficiency then you know how much this motor is actually taking from the grid now this mod it says the motor is 85 percent efficient and the pump the two separate efficiency the volumetric and the uh, mechanical efficiency so if you account for all of this and at this point it's going to be uh, let's see. I think I calculate 0.8289 horsepower. Then, if you convert this to kilowatt, 0 0.746 is one horsepower. So that is I calculated 0 0.62 kilowatt. So this is the only power you need when the cylinder is not uh, working. So the power saving uh, is a lot power saving you can go back to the um, just a couple of minutes you can see we calculated total power needed when it stall is uh, um, carrying too many decimal points just to 0.36 kilowatt minus is only OS 0.62 by this new design and I calculated 23.74 kilowatts. So that is the saving. That's a lot of saving. Now let's calculate that uh, total cost saving. So 70% time it does not work. 70% of that um, kilowatt. So 23.74 kilowatt times 5,000 hours per year times one dollar per kilowatt hour cost of electricity so our our cancel kilowatt kilowatt cancel i will have dollar per year from here so that would be 8300 um dollar per year which is a lot of saving. So this problem also asks you to calculate the payoff period. So how much is gonna 
check to pay off this new design it says that you can buy a variable displacement palm just for twenty five hundred dollar so then divide by the yearly cost saving which is eighty three hundred dollar per year so year goes on top the only unit so dollar dollar cancel the only unit left is year which i found 0.3 year in the calculation so basically 3.6 uh, months um, which is very fast and i think the redesign should be thought typically it's common that people use two separate pumps for this type of situation.